My name is Tariq Spates from Southern California, uh, Santa Clarita, California to be exact. Um, and something interesting about me is uh, I like to take pictures and make videos. Yeah, so I, I played the Juco year. Um, it was good. Still wasn't really getting a lot of, uh, I got a lot of interest, but people weren't really pulling the trigger or offer yet. Um, and then I think in February, I got a text from, uh, I got a text from Coach Von Trell, who was here last year. Through that, started talking with Coach Nethery and Coach Creighton, and between February and March, or no, February through like May, uh, talking almost like every, every week, every Sunday with Coach Creighton um, for about an hour. And then I finally got up here to take a visit. And after I took my visit, I knew this is where I wanted to be. Uh, I, I like, like you said, I wanted to play more um, than I did, but I feel like when I did play, um, I made an impact. So I, I was, I was grateful for how much time I got um, coming in so late in the summer. Um, but just just learning, like I, I came here and said I wanted to be a sponge, um, learn from everyone. I, I learned just as much as I learned from Coach Nethery, I learned from uh, the linebackers um, in, uh, in our room. Um, actually ended up, uh, Coach Nethery talked about it during recruiting how the guys in the room are gonna be the guys you guys compete against for playing time, but those are also gonna be the guys who help you out the most. Um, so guys like Terry, Kobe, um, Terry specifically, I was competing with him for reps during the year, um, and Terry really went out of his way to make sure I knew what I was doing. Um, so like definitely that, again, talks to the whole family aspect of our team and stuff like that. Uh, he, you could be selfish and be like, oh, I'm competing against this guy, so I don't want to help him get an edge. Um, but still, like, went out of the way, watched film with me, uh, explained stuff to me. Uh, my, my favorite memory from last year was the Toledo game uh, when I had my first forced fumble. Um, it's kind of crazy. I talked to uh, my roommate, Matt Bushman, uh, the night before, saying I was going to get my first uh, Division One turnover. And it just so happened in that game, I got the opportunity to meet the dude at the goal line um, and took the ball away from him. So that, that's probably my biggest memory from last year. Uh, for, uh, I, actually, I actually found out I had more roots in Michigan than I thought I had. Uh, my grandpa's from Michigan, um, Detroit actually. Uh, so I have a great aunt who still is out here in Michigan. Um, which was really awesome because I thought I was going to be coming up here and knowing no one. Um, so I've actually been able to spend a lot of time um, reconnecting with her and like hanging out with her. De I would definitely say my parents. Uh, my parents have always, um, always voiced to have your own opinion. Um, they've given me the opportunity, I would say, growing up. Um, still giving me instruction and guiding me, but not in a way where it's uh, I guess like censoring my opinion um, taught me how to do it respectfully because I didn't know uh, how to do that early on when I was younger but definitely my parents showing me um, that I do have a voice um, and to use it um, and uh, almost not using it is kind of doing it yourself and others a, a disservice.